Hello to another VXCraft video. Let's show how we can use simple graphics in combination with 3D models to create custom designs in an easy way. Let's go! As you can see the 3D model I prepared has a rectangular cutout. This area is supposed to be filled with pixel graphics. First we need to figure out the required size for this inlay. We just need to set a new NC0 point at the edge of the rectangle and move the cursor to the opposite edge. When the cursor is in position, we can read the size in the info box. Now we can take this size into any graphics program and give the inlay a design. The brightness of each pixel defines the height of the geometry. Black pixels create the cutout. When the design is ready, we simply drag the saved image file into VXCraft and it instantly creates a model. We set the position to the NC origin and only adjust the C position until it is in the right place. And that's it! Now we can just replace our graphic to create custom parts. At this point I will show you another, much more complex example using the same technique. In this case the 3D inlay is first converted to a high map and exported as a graphic, so that it can be modified by any graphics program. As seen before we can give the inlay different 3D designs just by changing the graphic. When finished we simply replace the high map image as in the last example. That's a great way to personalize complex 3D models, just by editing a graphic. By the way, it does not matter if the inlay is tilted like this one. Models and high maps, as well as NC origin points, can have any position and rotation. Ok, after this brief insight into complex 3D models, let's return to the topic project and start a small series to produce several parts in one run. It's beyond the scope of this video to show these steps in detail, but it will give a quick overview. First we start with a single part at the back and create a feedstock, set a new NC origin at the center and apply roughing, vertical and horizontal finishing. The same jobs are applied to the front after setting a new NC origin at the center. A small change in the job settings. Zone outside is used to generate toolpaths outside the model. Let's take a quick look at the virtual simulation. Ok, this should work well, so we can scale up the project with more custom designs in one run. I place them at 45 degrees to the wooden plank to get a twisted wood texture in the final parts. And as you can see I also added a cutout job. Some designs have very fine detail, so I added an extra job to remove the remaining material that could not be removed by the larger tools. Time to turn this into action. Follow me to my workshop and see how this shapeless oak board is transformed into stylish soap trays.
I hope you got some inspiration for your next CNC projects and I look forward to seeing you in my upcoming videos. Until then, keep crafting and stay innovative.